everyone. My name is Miss Elizabeth Brewer, and today I will be teaching you the parts of the flute and how they work together. In this lesson, you will be able to identify the parts of the flute and then be able to put the instrument together. The flute comes in three different parts. This can be seen in the case right in front of me on the table. Let us start from the bottom of the flute and work towards the top. Starting from the bottom of the instrument, this little piece that I'm holding in my hands is called the foot joint. An easy way to remember this is to think of the human body. The bottom end of the flute is similar to the feet of the human body. After the foot joint, this, there is the largest piece that has a lot of keys and goes into the middle of the flute. This is called the body. This is also similar to the human body since it is the largest portion and contains the most important items. For example, the human body has all the organs that keep the body running. This portion of the flute contains the most keys, helps balance, and produces most of the notes while playing. The last piece of the flute is the head joint. This is the most important piece of the flute. It may not look like much because it has no keys, but this is where the sound is produced. Without it, there would be difficulty to produce sound. Just like the head is on top of the human body, the head joint is on top of the flute. Now, when we look at all three of these pieces, you are probably wondering how they all fit together. This is where the human body demonstration comes into play. As long as you can remember the name of the pieces, then it will be easier to put this together in the right order. Please watch me as I put my flute together for you. I gently clasp my hand around the top portion of the body with no keys. I do this with my left hand since it is my less dominant hand. With my right, I gently take the foot joint and put it onto the bottom of the body flute body. As you can see, this is the farthest end from where I'm holding the body. Now when it comes to the foot joint, many beginners try to line up these little bars. This is a big no-no for most people. The foot joint needs to be lined up for comfortable finger positioning like so. Now once the foot joint is on, then proceed to you to the head joint. This is where sometimes can, things can get confusing when it comes to actually playing. But we do not need to worry about that right now. Watch as I put the head joint into the top of the flute body. I was always taught to line up the hole and the head joint to the keys. This is good for beginners, but later down the road you will make adjustments to your own comfort. Taking a flute, the flute apart is the same way that you put it together. Please watch as I demonstrate with my own flute. I would like you to pause this video and try to name all of the pieces. After that, then you can put the flute together. If you get lost, rewind and review the demonstration. I hope this video has been very useful for you. And if you get lost or have any questions, feel free to contact me about any parts of the instruments or information that you may not have understood about this video.